so I would double tap this and then it takes over so but the only thing is I have to ensure that my hand is on the wheel so that's one of the things that Tesla has actually um, mandated so I've taken my leg off the pedal and one thing he's doing is I've set my maximum speed to 70% and it's literally following the vehicle it's following the vehicle right in front of me if the vehicle breaks the car also breaks and I have to keep my hand on the wheel that's one of the things that Tesla has actually mandated so if I take my hand off the wheel I'll get a signal I'll get a warning on the screen which will prompt me to put my hand on the wheel is just to ensure that you are not um, possibly distracted so if you can see the screen it's keeping the vehicle in lane at the same time maintaining the speed so it's following the vehicle in front of me to ensure if the vehicle accelerates my vehicle also accelerates if the vehicle in front of me slows down this one also slows down but one of the things is for this to be active you must be driving in a clearly marked road if you see right in front of, uh, of me the roads are clearly marked so that's the guidance for the system if the roads are not marked I doubt if it is gonna work so I need to put my hand on the wheel just to ensure so that the system knows that I'm still attentive and I'm, I'm not sleeping or I'm not distracted with my phone so it's controlling itself keeping in lane and keeping to the minimum and maximum speed so it's a very cool feature which to be honest it's um it's not a full driving experience because i'm wondering i still have to keep my hand on the wheel so it's not it's not a total experience but it's called beta the reason it's called beta is it's still at a testing stage in the uk because uk roads need to be mapped a lot of things need to be done but in the US and some other states and some other countries like Canada, the full saw driving has been rolled out, which means I can literally take my hand or take my hands off the wheel and the vehicle will drive me from point A to point B, which is a very good one. So it's amazing. Another thing that could make the system deactivate is if the weather condition is bad. As you can see now, it's, it's drizzling. So I won't be surprised if the system deactivates. Um, so you need to have a clear, you need to have a clear weather for you to walk. The road needs to be clearly marked. And one of the downside of this system is this driver assistance system is 